Every organism interprets the world through its senses, its umwelt. Beyond the familiar senses, our bodies have a hidden sixth sense, a gut sense. This allows us to perceive our internal gut environment, detect nutrients and guide food choices. Signals from nutrients in the gut are transmitted via neuropod cells to the vagus nerve, directly to the brain. The colon teems with trillions of microbes forming our gut microbiome. Evidence shows that gut bacteria influence behavior. However, the precise sensors and circuits through which microbes directly influence their host's behavior remain unknown. Neuropod cells are fast transducers of nutrient signals to the brain. They also have receptors that detect microbes, raising the question, could neuropod cells also transmit signals from biota to the brain? Bacteria in the colon move around using their tails, known as flagella. Flagella are composed of various pattern proteins with a key protein called flagellin, which is more abundant in the lumen when the host feeds. Neuropod cells express the toll-like receptor 5, or TLR5. This receptor recognizes flagellin, a structural protein of the microbial tail flagella. The flagellin protein binds to TLR5 in neuropod cells. Instead of triggering a typical immune response, activation of TLR5 in neuropod cells leads to the release of the neuromodulator PYY. PYY activates the NPY2 receptor on vagal neurons. This sends a signal to the brain, reducing appetite. When we knock out or block these receptors, we have observed that the host becomes overweight due to eating slightly more and over a prolonged period. We discovered that this occurs even in the absence of bacteria. When flagellin is introduced into the lumen of the colon, the animal reduces feeding. We call this sense, at the interface of the biota and the brain, the neurobiotic sense. This neurobiotic sense regulates feeding. Just as organisms rely on their senses to navigate the external world, they also use their gut umwelt to adjust their behavior.